Thank you very much. Uh, when, when Hubert asked me to talk about private investment in the water sector, you know, I thought for a moment, I said, well, we're, we're actually not seeing that much straightforward investment in water and sanitation in the urban uh, setting in, uh, in Africa. We see quite a lot of management contracts, uh, lease type arrangements, but we're not seeing a lot of private investment. But where we are seeing a lot of private investment is in the irrigation space, or potential for that. Um, in our particular group in the bank, we're very much engaged in what we call growth poles, where we have a project, for example, in Bagray and Burkina Faso, where we're rehabilitating a dam that's already there uh, with public money, with, with World Bank money, which will be public money, we'll build some irrigation schemes, but we're unlocking 15,000 hectares of value. And that 15,000 hectares of value has attracted, at the moment, I think we had something like 400 expressions of interest in participating in that project. Those kind of projects are sort of dotted all around uh, Africa. Recently I was in Nigeria and there were four or five projects uh, in the north of Nigeria. There's one amazing project which I didn't physically see but I saw a slideshow. And you see this picture of a beautiful dam built in a river, all the water's there. You see a power station that's empty with no turbines in it. And you see a canal that takes the water from the, from the river and then puts it back in the river. So, you know, it's just kind of really strange. So there's also in this irrigation space, I guess the Bagra example, the Nigeria example, there's quite a lot of brownfield uh, potential. So stuff that's already kind of being built there that's not being utilised anywhere how it was originally envisaged, uh, I, f I see as a huge potential. So I think in the bank we are actually quite excited. I know my uh, water colleagues in Nigeria are really excited about these many, op uh, many opportunities in Nigeria. We're very excited about what we're doing in Burkina Faso. We're excited about what we're doing in Senegal. And I suspect if we were to look, we would find a lot more of these kind of opportunities throughout Africa to get you know, this whole productivity story that I think we've heard time and time again about Africa increasing its agricultural productivity. Now, <clears throat> that's, I guess, all the good news. And I suppose the final thing I'd just like to do is, is kind of reflect on why we're not seeing a lot of investment in water supply and sanitation. And I just make some general observations from the World Bank side. This is one tough sector. Um, when we look at some of the sort of the big, the big facts or big data that we have in this sector, we see uh, the rates of return that people earn on the water sector never match uh, what, they, what, what, what they initially planned. They're always below. And there are a bunch of reasons for that we see a substantial number of renegotiation. And there was one study that we did in uh, Latin America which showed in a 1,000 water supply contracts, 60% of them were renegotiated. Uh, this is a very, very hard sector to get straight. People do not like paying for water. Um, and I guess in many cases in Africa, uh, there are a lot of people just simply can't afford to pay for water. So it is a real, real challenging sector. Um, and it doesn't surprise me, as someone who's relatively new to Africa, that we're not seeing that much investment. I'll leave it at that. Doing business in Africa. You can't afford to be without Africa Investor.